Good morning. So let's have a conceptual discussion on uh, Gauss's law. See, when you do calculations of electric field due to multiple charges, you know you can have situations uh, where the calculations become very difficult. For example, if you if I give you a ring which is charged, it's a semicircular ring, and I ask you to calculate the electric field at the center of this semicircular ring. You know, it becomes quite a pain because you have to apply integration, consider a small uh, charge dq and apply Coulomb's law to calculate electric field and then integrate. So this becomes a real problem, you know, when you have some certain shapes and uh, figures which are charged and you have to find electric field uh, due to those. The Gauss law comes very handy in uh, these situations and we will talk about, you know, how does it help, you know. So if you see a figure or a shape uh, which has symmetry, for example, a sphere. You can see a sphere from any side. A sphere appears the same. Similarly, if you have a straight line conductor, you know, which is charged, uh, you know, you can see it from any place, it appears same. So when you have, you know, charge distributions which are symmetrical in nature, you know, that is where, you know, Gauss law comes very, very handy. You know, it really simplifies your calculations. And you don't have to take the trouble of doing very difficult integration calculations. More to come in my next video. Thank you.